Welcome to my lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the volume expansion coefficient. So what do we mean by that? Well, we learned in previous physics, when we heat up an object, we expect that object to expand. When it has volume, we expect the volume to expand. And typically, we express the change in the volume as being equal to some coefficient of volume expansion times the original volume times the change in the temperature. So beta is then considered the coefficient of volume expansion, and we assume that to be constant. But it is not. So let's take a closer look. Since we can then solve for beta here, the coefficient of volume expansion being 1 over V initial, the initial volume, times the change in the volume divided by the change in the temperature, and then in the previous video we saw that if the pressure remains constant, that this ratio in the limit, as the change in the temperature goes to zero, we can express that as the partial derivative of the volume with respect to the temperature with the pressure constant. Now, for an ideal gas, we know that PV equals nRT. We can solve that equation for V being nR over P times T. And of course, if we assume that the pressure remains constant in this particular process change, of course, this only counts if the pressure remains constant. We can then say that V is equal to a constant times the temperature. And then if we take the partial derivative of that with respect to the temperature, with pressure remaining constant, that is equal to nR over P. And I guess this should be a D. And we can also say that if we take the ideal gas equation and solve this equation for T, then T is equal to PV over nR. Now, of course, that is true for any condition, for any gas, if we assume it to be an ideal gas. So now let's go back to the definition of the volume expansion coefficient. So we can write it as 1 over V initial. And I guess I should write it as 1 over V initial times the partial derivative of the change in the volume with respect to the temperature, keeping the pressure constant. And as we saw, using the ideal gas equation, that that can be expressed as nR over P. So if we replace the partial derivative with nR over P, we now have the coefficient of volume expansion in a process change where the pressure remains constant. That's important to keep reminding us that that's indeed the circumstances. Then that's going to be equal to nR divided by P times V. Now, if we go over here again, and then we realize that T is equal to PV over NR, which is simply the inverse of that fraction. So therefore, we can conclude that if the pressure remains constant and there is a state change or there is a, a change going from one state to another for a solid or liquid, that the coefficient of volume expansion is equal to 1 over the temperature. So you can see it's not constant at all. It continuously changes. It's continuously a function of the temperature, or I should say, a function of the inverse of the temperature. And so therefore, don't assume it's constant. When we look at the details, it definitely is not. And if you look up the coefficient of volume expansion in a typical book like the CRC, you'll find that it gives you values for a whole array of temperatures because it does depend on the temperature. And that's why we know.